Hey everyone, welcome to Coding Simplified and today we'll see about the CAP theorem, right? So whenever we are designing our system, CAP theorem is an important topic and we should always take care about this one. So we'll understand that what is CAP stands for and what is CAP theorem, right? Now uh, let's see that what is the CAP stands for. So CAP basically the C means consistency, A means availability and P means partition. Right. So consistency says that every read receives the most recent write. So let's see an example. Uh, let's say uh, I'm I'm doing any bank transaction, right? Or I'm or I'm a stock broker where I basically update the price of stocks. So generally, when we have the distributed systems, it means uh, I'm not talking uh, only about single server. In my system, we have multiple servers right so multiple servers servers can be related to the dbs that i have multiple dbs or i have multiple servers right let's say in my system i have four nodes this node this node this server this node server now let's say if i'm updating a stock price now you will update the stock price here now whenever you are making any transaction you will basically first of all log the complete system log the complete system means at this moment no other user can make any transaction no other user can get the price of that stock right so what you do you basically update the price at this node at this node at this node and this node once you are updated for this particular stock then you release the log and now all the users can get the prices of that one right so this is known as consistency means consistent so generally what can happen let's say if you don't have log so, so let's say you basically update in this sequence so you have you have updated the transaction here right so if any user is getting data from here he will get the latest data but if there is another user who is getting the same stock price from here so he won't get the data because we haven't updated the data at this node right so this is what the consistency says that at this moment my my system is not consistent this user is getting different data this user is getting different data right so what we do we basically log the complete system we update the data and then all users will get the same data whether he is getting from this node this node this node or whatever node right so this is this is what the this is what all about the consistency so this is what it is writing here that every read every read receives the most recent write or an error right so this is what you need to understand that every read receives the most recent write right so when we are doing any write whatever the node is it should receive all the users should receive the most recent write or an error so why it is talking about an error let's say now this system knows that i have four nodes now somehow this system this nodes gets failure right somehow it crashed so if it crashed then what we'll do at this moment our complete system will be locked down now no user can no user can access the system because the consistency says that if it is a consistent system then first of all i will be up i i will basically up the server i will make it rectify and then all my system will be online right so generally our bank transaction you can see our banks our stock stock tradings or all these kind of which are which are the critical thing these those systems are the consistent systems right so there we talk about the consistency so it says if any network failure then it should be the failure now the second topic is second topic we talk about the availability so availability is say let me talk about the an example so let's say uh, let's say i have a youtube system and uh, and there is a user there is a user who basically who basically liked a particular video right so let's say there is a video youtube video and this user is basically have liked the this video so you know that in our in our youtube we have the likes and dislikes right so whenever a user is liking any system then we will basically update the count for that one like how many likes are there right or how many dislikes are there now let's say as we know that youtube youtube is a very big multi scalar system or basically we have so let's say if there are 100 servers in this one right 
now what will happen and and the servers can be different region one regions can be in india another region can be in us another region can be in apex or in some europe region right now let's say if we say okay whenever i am updating any count for this particular video then basically i will update i will update the count at every node here 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 until that time my complete system is locked down right it means no user can basically see the video because all the system is locked down right so availability says that the operations which are not very critical right so let's say let's say earlier my like was 100 and when this user like this video then my like should be 101 so the youtube basically updated the updated the count here but not in this region so what will happen that the the user which will get the which will see the video here he will see the likes 100 and the user which will see the video here he will see the like 101 right so youtube says it's okay it's okay even if user even if user sees the likes differently at this moment right because what will happen at this moment he is seeing 100 and here it's seeing 100 but after some time after some time when it will update all these nodes so he will also see the 101 right so this is what is talk this is what all about the availability availability says that don't lock down the complete system right just show whatever the whatever the value it is there right so this is all about the availability availability also says let's say if somehow if the system get crashed right these nodes get crashed so in this case also if, if the other user is also getting from data from here just show it right it doesn't matter whether our some of the nodes are down just show the data so this is all about the availability right so availability says that every request receive a every request should receive a response without the guarantee that it contains the most recent write right so even if our system is not updated even if our even if all the nodes are not updated then also we should show the thing right so generally generally the operations which are not very critical like facebook likes youtube likes or like how many times the video has seen right so in this case we can we can we basically prefer the this thing right so this is the availability now the third thing is partition so partition basically you can say in the cap theorem the partition is all about the network failure right network failure means let's say we have a different systems we have different servers and somehow if there is a network failure network failures can be related to two nodes three nodes or one region or two regions right so this is the partition partition means there is a partition there is a network failure right so you can basically find this information differently to the other sites but for this for this to make it easy i will understand is uh, this partition is a network failure right now let's see that what is cap theorem right so cap theorem says that out of these three out of these three you can achieve two things at a time right either you will achieve the consistency or partition or you will achieve the availability or partition or you will achieve the consistency and availability right so basically that don't go into this one that you will get out two things out of three the main point is that in case of network failure right in case of network failure so this is basically uh, the cap theorem says that in case of partition in case of partition is network failure so when there is a network failure then when there is a network failure then it means what we said that we need we can choose any two things at a time so one thing has happened here the network failure has happened there it means you can choose either consistency or you can choose either availability right so let me uh, let me tell you with an example so let's say we have said that that this is my network right so i said that there are three things one is consistency one is availability and one is network failure network failure or partition so there has happened a network failure let's say here it was five nodes and five nodes and this node somehow got crashed right now if there is if my session now i can achieve either consistency or i can achieve either availability so let's say if i want to achieve the consistency my my system is bank system and i work for a bank now there is a network failure so according to the solution according to the explanation what i have told 
if there is a consistency so i will say that until this until this network until this node is not up i will not i will not up the system my complete system will be locked down right so this is what it is talk about the consistency that if my one net if my one network is failure then i will choose this consistency when i'm designing the critical systems like bank right so it means consistency plus network failure this is the one thing that cap theorem has said that when you when you want to choose the when you want to choose a consistency then in case of network failure you have to choose a consistency plus network failure so in this case what will happen that if you if your node is down then i will not update the data first of all i will i will wait for to get it up and then i will make the system online right now let's say the the system like youtube let's say if there is a network failure here so if there is a network failure in this case what will happen let's say my two nodes are down or my complete one region is down so let's say this is a us region and this is down so in this case what happen youtube says even if your us system is down let's let's send the request let's my uh, system be online for this region right so this is what it says network plus availability that even if your system is down my system should be available right so it means you see that the two things we have covered that when there is a partition when there is a network failure when there is a network failure either i will choose the consistency consistency or i will choose the availability so this is it is saying either you will choose the consistency plus partition means network failure or you will choose the availability plus network failure right now what is this ca generally this ca is not that important so it says let's say if there is not network failure right there is no partition so if there is no network failure so what we can do in this case what so i can make my system consistent and availability how it says it says that okay if there is let's say if i have five nodes here right so first of all i will uh, i will update all the nodes here and then i will make my system available because there is no there is no network failure so i can basically make it consistent and i can make it available as well though it will take time because first of all you will update the all the nodes and then you will make the available right so it will take the time but it still you can make it possible right so this is what is about the ca right but the important point is this one this is very critical this is cp that in case of network failure either you can choose the consistency consistency let's say when i'm talking about the banks or stock system which is very critical then you then you want to choose this one or if there is network failure then you want to choose this one like youtube likes or like like operations which are not very critical so even there is a delay it doesn't matter right in this case i can choose the availability right so that's what we have written in this cap theorem that in case of partition means network failure you can choose either consistency or availability if you choose consistency it means you will response error or timeout because you are you have chosen consistency it means you will response error or timeout as there is a network failure and you can't update the values to all the nodes right now if you choose the availability it means you will send whatever last response you have regardless of any new update right and in in absence of partition failure you can maintain consistency or availability with the time delay right so this is about the cap theorem and if you have any doubts regarding this please write in the comment section and i will try to explain that and thanks guys and if you have liked the video then please like it and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you